Frail Fragment is a music podcast, but we talk about movies, entertainment, sports, whatever's on our mind, open stream of consciousness, in awareness, and make things, making it a little comical on the side. Frail Fragments, Monster Classics. Yeah, bruh. What's going on, bruh? My man Ace is here. What's that? Oh, nice. Did you buy a mad groceries? Oh, you got the... How much are hot dogs there? Two glizzies, three bucks. Two or three bucks? I don't know. Like, the guy at Canadian Tire by, uh, in Stockyards there, that guy charges, like, fucking six, seven dollars for a hot dog, bro. I think it's seven bucks for a hot dog. Yeah, yeah, for a sausage. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember those. No, not for a sausage. For a hot dog. Seven dollars. Wow. Yeah. And he has his little house there. Wow. I, I wish I was fucking... I wish yeah. I was the big bad wolf and blow his fucking house down because this guy's fucking robbing people, blind guy. Uh, you feel? He's got to make a living. I guess, yeah, he's out there, but I mean, he has a nice little house, and I, I guess he's paying a lot in rent being there, right? Like a lot of people go there yeah. for lunch, right? Like <laughs> that's right. Like I haven't been there in a minute, like a year, but you know, when I, I like a year ago, I was just craving fucking street meat, and that's that's where I went, man. I paid yeah. the. Back back then it was uh it was less than seven, but last time I went to Canadian Tire was I think it was seven bucks for a hot dog, so that's fucked up. Are you serious? Oh yeah, so I've invited a bunch of guys. I don't know who's gonna show up, but uh, see, it is what see. it is what it is, bro. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, Do you usually eat lunch at Costco? Uh no I don't. No, <laughs> okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I've never had anything to eat at Costco before, I don't think. Maybe the sample rack, like when you go around, but dude, yeah. that place is like almost like a hell on earth, man. Like they give you it's these huge, good. massive fucking stro- shopping carts and yeah. it's just fucking packed at eight AM. It's a fucking zoo there, I'll tell you that, man. It's crazy, bro. I, like I you yeah. couldn't pay me enough to go there. My wife goes, but like I, I hate going yeah. in there, man. I get like massive amounts of anxiety. When okay. I do my uh, when I do my grocery shopping, it's like I like to do it at like fucking seven a.m. in the morning, right? Like in and yeah, out. Bro. No one's fucking up. That's how I roll, man. I, you know, I, I, like I just yeah, I don't. There's too many. There's too many grimers out there. You know, after fucking ten thirty. After a certain time, I hear you. Ten thirty, eleven. It's too many fucking uh, grind times. When you forget something and you got to go to the fucking grocery store at like four o'clock, oh, five wow. o'clock in the afternoon. That fucking shit looks like an abortion, bro. And yo, yeah. Costco's worse than that, man. Like a lot worse. Times ten, yes. So, I mean, it's good when you have a family and you can, you know, buy mad shit for. But yeah. I mean, you better be eating that stuff because you get you buy in bulk there, man, and shit ain't cheap. But I mean, Costco has good quality shit, so that's it. Ain't what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you, bro. It's uh, Tuesday, January 30th, 30th, 2024. This is the Monster Closet episode 24. How's yeah. everybody doing? Ace. It's a gloomy doing, one, Ben. You know what? Let me invite Darwin. Let's see what he's saying. How, how about that, right? Let's, Let's uh, see what the guy's saying. Hopefully he answers. Because uh, yesterday it was kind of... We're on the fucking... I don't know what happened. Well, we'll, we'll find out. No, it didn't we'll find out. Episode 24, bro. You know, we ain't out to fucking... Well, I'll get into... Uh, hopefully he comes on. We'll, we'll we'll talk to him a little bit. You know what I mean? Raptors lost five in a row. Well, let's not talk about that. Uh, they fucking suck, dude. It's like on the bright uh, side. Like, they're ter- what is the bright... Oh, we got like a... The Jays got like a, a DH... A 39-year-old DH uh, something Turner. He's supposed to be like a really fucking... Good? good player. So I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I think he's from the the West Side, bro. I think he played for like LA or some shit. I don't, I don't know, bro. But he's supposedly good. He's old though. Thirty nine is pretty 39, fucking. Yeah, he's one year a one year contract, but I mean, I don't know, man. We need. We got to see what happens with with the with the Jays. I think we're all we're in like transitioning years, but Jays the Jays have some key guys that they can work around. Like Bo Bichette's a fucking, he's like the he's best hitter in in the world, dude. Yeah, you know, he just has to work on his fielding a bit. He has a lot of fucking errors on him, but I mean, he's a good hitter, bro. You put him batting no, like he's the for me, he bats number two. He's the best fucking number two guy in fucking baseball, bro. Uh, for pound? Uh, you can even put a number three, but I would put a number two. You need that like three? some speed, number one. I put um, uh, first baseman. Who's the fuck? Uh, Aguero Jr. I put, right I put him fourth. I put him fourth. Third, third. But I don't know. I, I'm trying to think who's on the fucking team that can hit. I know, right? Uh, it's like not really. There's no there's no one. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing somebody, but yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah. It is what it is. Put me in, coach. Yeah, man. Um, Dude, I play. I played baseball for 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 a while when I was a kid, man. You like it? I was a good baseball player, dude. Oh fuck, dude! Yeah. When I was 12 years old, I could hit the ball out of the fucking Sky Dome or the Rogers Center. When I was 12. Holy fuck! Why didn't you try out? Yeah, bro. Dude, I was fucking too small, man. The writing was on the wall. We'd have, like, Rob Butler come by a fucking East Jerk. I played for East Jerk. That's and the amazing. guy was a fucking... The guy was a, a monster, dude. You could ride that guy into battle, man. This was, like, the the height of fucking steroid use in fucking Major League Baseball. You know what okay, I mean? These guys were fucking uh... monsters. Yeah, I had no yeah, chance. Yeah. Bro, I could have been, like... I could have maybe have been, like, a shit player on a, a junior A team. Like batting last, Len Laman on a junior A team, and back then, there <laughs> would make like thirty to sixty thousand dollars a year. Like, I mean, so I, I mean, you're putting all your eggs, you're putting all your eggs in one basket for thirty to sixty. It's like playing for the Argos, kind of. But the Ar- now, now players are getting paid more money. Like Argos, I looked it up, man. They're getting like anywhere from I think six figures, seven seventy to like seven hundred. The highest paid player that gets paid like seven hundred and something thousand a year. As they should. He's that. Li- that little white Viking guy, it's like pure speed for days, right? Yeah, I don't know like name, eight, right? Yeah, yeah. He played in the NFL too, but like that guy was he's making coin, right? Like, yeah, he's your height. He looks he looks You're more bulkier. But though. I'm not five he's about five six. Um, no, nah, he's bulky, dude. Oh, he's, yeah, he's I, smaller, he looks huh? scary. Like, trust me, he's like very explosive. Yeah, I see him. Like, I see him at Lamport Stadium. That's yeah, where yeah, the Argos practice. Chunky yeah. boy. He, bro. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, yeah, you've seen him for sure, man. But there's some huge guys on that team, too. Did you invite? And you're a badass while you're playing for the Argos, right? I mean, yeah, you got playing for, like, you know, a professional sports team. But, I mean, the Argos is basically you're a washed up has been. You're not going to be able to make the NFL. You know? Yeah, Doug Flutie did it. Yeah, and yeah. like that guy, that guy's like a rare exception. But I mean, yeah, like you take an Argos player and you put him in the NFL, he's going to get fucking steamrolled, dude, because the NFL is a different fucking game altogether, right? These guys are fucking, these guys are playing fucking hopscotch. Well, you know, those guys are playing football. You know what I mean? So. It's, yeah, I knew a little chick it, who uh, was a groupie for them, man. Lots of them, bro. You see them in the parking lot too. Like flocks, uh, they flock. They flock, but I, I, there's some baby mamas in the parking lot too. Oh, buddy. Uh, I've seen it all. You hear me? Buddy, can you hear me? Hello? (laughs) 
Going on, Hello. Brad. Hey, bro. Sorry about the. I got like it's my uh, my AirPods. They're fucking. Is it? I don't, I don't know, man. It's just uh, it's it just, they, yeah. When they get uncomfortable, right? Like I I play with them and then they just like turn off or disconnect. It's like what the fuck? That's you weird. Know? It's not weird. It's like they're very fraud. Like you can't touch them. I mean, it's so fucked. There What's we up, are. Brad? Sensitive. There he is. Well, ho- hopefully uh, my service isn't cut out. I'm in the middle Where? of right. with the Mennonites. Oh, God. What are you uh-huh. doing with the Mennonites? I uh, just, you know, picking things up. <laughs> they're men of very... Yeah. They're, they're men of very little words. <laughs> yeah? I don't understand. Do they have the, electricity or, or what? The leader has electricity. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah. Every, oh, everybody yeah. underneath, the, underneath the leader is a bunch of peasants. Oh man! Yeah. So, where where do the Mennonites live? Out in the farmlands, like on their where? own farm. Oh, uh, like the yeah, Ontario, like Dundalk area, which Dundalk is like House? an hour and a half of an hour and a half north of Toronto. Okay. Yeah. Dundalk. I've never been up there. Is it nice up there? Uh, no, it's just farms. There's nothing right. really nice about it. No. 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 A- Ace, have you ever been to a Mennonite place to buy a jam or anything like that? Uh, like a little local farm, I think, yeah. But Which one? It's kind of up north. Northeast. Northeast? I oh, okay. To buy some maple pecan pie. They have like, uh, they have like a shop. I forget what it's called. It's like a yeah. like a crazy farmers market in like Waterloo, Guelph oh, sure. area. Oh, Saint Jacobs. Saint Jacobs. That's the Saint one. Saint Jacobs uh, yeah. market or whatever. So do all these guys go? Like, do all these Mennonites go down there and sell all their shit? I have no idea because you literally can't get a word out of them. I oh, ask them questions. And they, they don't really respond to anything. Yeah, they probably think you're like I, those types of people think like outsiders are complete fucking trash. <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> they live a really simple life. I don't think they have much to say. Yeah, you're the enemy to them, Brett. Maybe, except for I got to pick up and deliver this shit. Yeah, exactly. But that, like, that was all done with their iPhone. <laughs> right, right. Right, yeah. but I mean, they work hard, right? They're like farmers, I guess. Yeah, definitely. I've always wondered: Does the leader has he ever gone on Pornhub? No, I think they're Amish. Oh, oh. well, there's yeah. And does does he does he take this new information that he gathers and get ideas with the wife? Because <laughs> they all have like nine kids. Oh, they have like nine yeah. kids. Yeah, he lays that All dick them. down. That's for sure. <laughs> he does. That guy's banging like a screen door on a windy summer's day. <laughs> you know I'll bet mean? you he's caught his wife off guard. Yeah, oh yeah. Those guys are are all fucking heaped up, man. Like their daughters would bang a fucking warm towel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why he's so afraid of you. He doesn't want Probably. you fucking mating with his fucking hood rat fucking alley cat daughters. An alley cat. Here, take, take the fucking get the fuck out of my property. Yeah, bro. yeah. No, but it's hard work. They need somebody to fucking clean the house and, you know, mo- tend to the fields and fucking milk the cows and sow the... You're robotic, Len. You're robotic. Who else came on here? And they need big families. Believe! Is that him? Well, that's because we got Darwin on. We got another guy. We got Darwin on the line here. What's up, bro? Oh, okay. I think he's just listening in. So, Darwin, keep this short if you're just listening in because. Uh, I don't know. 
did the is it sound like I'm a robot right now? Yes. Yes it does. Hey, there he is. There he is. We got <laughs> Big D in the house. What's going on, bro? Big D. Yeah, we're just what were we, we were talking about the Amish. And uh our buddy Red here, Red. Meet Darwin, Darwin meet Red. And you guys have met before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you guys have. Yeah. Uh, you were at in I front saw. of his house sure. one day like five years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So nice. But that's here nor there. Darwin, have you ever dated an Amish chick? Nope. Uh, I've seen a couple of them around the city. Oh, yeah. So, Red. I don't really show much. Drops, he drops loads off. I deliver to them. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he's delivering uh, supplies. What do you deliver to them? Like wood supplies or like steel? Steel? They're all, yeah. they're only into those two things, really. Wood or steel. Really, yeah? Yeah. And their wives have are completely head to toe covered. Well, you right. never know. On, fr on Friday night, you might get some... Going. <laughs> know what I mean, Red? Yeah. yeah. I wonder if nah. they, those guys booze. I, they probably make I, their I, own. I, I, I tried to watch documentaries about. Yeah. They probably make their own wine or beer. Maybe. <laughs> how do they? How do? I've always wondered how do Amish people meet other Amish people if they don't leave the farm? <laughs> They're all fucking inbred. They're all fucking inbred. <laughs> oh, God. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. See, it's red that sounds like a robot. You know what I mean? It's all in house. Because he's got Maybe. fucking, he's got Amish fucking what? service right now. I the Amish service? Freedom, Freedom Mobile. There you go. Are you with Wait. Freedom? No, I'm with Bell. Okay. <laughs> but I might as well be with Freedom out here. I know. I know. Yeah. Well, I was telling him, like, I got AirPods, and they're just not reliable for fucking this podcast, man. Like, because I go to put them back in, and it just whole fucking show. You know what I'm trying, trying to say? say? Is, there anything, is there anything good about them? Not really. <laughs> this is like the tech, <laughs> the tech section, section not, of the podcast. Not, That's not it? for me. Not, not for it. me. Not for me. Red, you're really breaking up, Red. Why don't you, uh, we'll call you back. Oh, okay. Okay, hang up. Hello. Hello. Oh, great. Oh, fuck. What about yeah. Peter Girl? What's that? Darling? What about Peter Girl? Hey, shut the fuck up for a second, man. <laughs> Sorry, Darwin. What about Peter Burrow? Peter Burrow is a nice spot, man. Like, the people there, they have, like, that Cortho Lake mentality. Yeah. Yes. And they're very hospitable, and it's a nice spot. I fucking I love Peterborough, dude. Peterborough's out. The only problem with Peterborough is there's a school there. I forget what school it's called, but it's a pretty big school, and there's a party yeah. there with that school, right? But I mean, other than that, Peterborough's an awesome place to go. A good place to retire. It's big. It's big enough, and you're close to all like the fucking lakes. You drive like you know, thirty five minutes north, and you're in Fenland Falls. And Fenland Falls, Fenland Falls is beautiful. So. I mean, I yeah, Peterborough's awesome, man. Yeah. That's a good pick, dude. I, I don't know why we were talking about Peterborough, but yeah, Peterborough's a nice spot. We're, my band is playing in Peterborough in June, June 22nd at the Urban. Um, we got I got some friends up there, too, so we're going to probably party it up in Peterborough. Hopefully, I can find some babysitters for my kids and my right. wife. We're going to like probably book a hotel and fucking spend the night in Peterborough, so that'll be like fun. And it's always fun to play in Peterborough. So, yeah, man. Because they the, the people there, they just want to have... They really like the type of music we like my band plays. 
and there's a following okay. there and they like just to have a good time as, they ha- like to have a good time I, like it's more liberated there i think like as toronto is very conservative and it's yeah. hard it's hard to it's huge and it's hard to get people to come out to fucking shows here believe it or not in places like peterborough people do co- they they just come out man St. Catharines is another spot that's really, really cool vibe. Know, like and my and my goal, Darwin, is to to break break it out, break out in Hamilton, right? So Hamilton's a big city, Hamilton. and it's close. And my my brother in law lives in Hamilton. He's in the band. He's my bass player, Ian. So I want to play a lot of shows, and ha- I want to play Hamilton uh, a couple of times a year, and just kind of like keep knocking on Hamilton's door because there's a big market there. It's a really weird market and it's fucked up and it's just all estranged and crazy there, but there's a lot of people there and there's a lot of good music coming out of Hamilton. There's always been a lot of good music coming out of Hamilton. It's very, it's an interesting place and it's big. So I want to, I want to play there as well. Um, But yeah, why did, why were we talking about Peterborough? I, I I forget. Darwin, do you remember why? Darwin, why did you say that? Okay. Um, huh? Darwin, are you there? <laughs> Who's that? Okay, Darwin's gone. Is that you filing around, Ace, or is that Darwin? Hello? Is this? Oh, there, there is. Is that there you, Darwin? Is. There yeah, Darwin, is. you got... Darwin, yep. you gotta leave the, the screen... You gotta leave the screen on, like, it can't time fall out. asleep. Yeah, it can't time out, the screen. Oh. That's why we can't, we can't hear you. So once the screen falls asleep, we can't hear you. Don't surf the web, okay, while you're on either. And don't, uh, and keep it on do not disturb, right? Because, I mean, all of those things could take you out of the conversation. I'm pretty sure it was your screen that went blank. Yeah. So once yeah. your screen go, yeah, once your screen goes blank, you're out of the conversation. But yeah, what, why did we, why were we talking about Peter, bro? Um, that's my my what? It's important to find that balance, but not everybody finds that balance easily. That's the problem, or they don't realize it's like a balance, right? Yeah, it's a it's a journey. Life is a struggle, and we gotta live it. Yeah, I, I you know, I I don't know if I I, I wanna, I don't wanna accept that life is a struggle. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird, you know. I don't want to accept that life is a struggle because I have a lot of good shit in my in my life, you know. And I think that if I love myself, yeah. I can I can, I'm not struggling. Right? And that, and um but life is hard. That's for sure, darling. Life is fucking hard. I love, I love but, a quote from Rocky Balboa where, where he's talking to his son and he says Is that Rocky 5 or 4? The the one where he's actually a, a man, he's basically working for, on his own, he's living on his own. Does Is Tommy Guns in that one? I think Where he's that, a trainer? The blonde guy? Where he beats him up at the end? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah on the street. <laughs> yeah. He goes, well, life will keep you down. And life will keep on beating down on you unless you fight back. Uh, that that quote right there is like something that you can kind of like look at him and say, okay, yeah, you're right. It's it, life is gonna be like that, mm-hmm. but you can't let it get you can't let it hold you down. You in judo, back. in judo, they there is like if you <laughs> fall, when you fall, yeah, get back up. That's kind of their 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 mantra. When you fall, get back up. That's it. So when you and that's for life. When you fall, get back up. You know. Oh man, I might have got a fucking. I don't know, man. My mind has been playing tricks on me because I might have got one of those fucking uh, speeding violation tickets with those boxes on Caledonia and Rogers on the way here, right? But I was going forty, and the thing went off. But there was like a car behind me and a car in front of me and a car coming the other way. But I mean, what the fuck, dude? I don't need that shit. You understand me? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, those things you can still dispute them, can't you? I don't know, man. 
Yeah, you should be able to dispute everything in life. Money grab, dude. But that's just annoying, dude. I know it's an extra. It's an extra expense that you don't need in 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 life. It's uh, it's incredible the way these guys look at the 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 money grab and everything. Yeah, it's like an invasion of fucking privacy. Like, dude, if you're in the middle of nowhere and no no one sees anything or no one hears anything, and you're going fucking fifty and a forty, and the fucking thing goes off, you're that's bullshit. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like those guys with the blue blue plates. They got those blue plates. Why? Why, why do they keep them? Because they don't want to get caught. And oh, the- is that what happens? It doesn't reflect they can't read or whatever. It. They can't read it. They can't read that shit. Not so- at all. Now we found something out. What about on uh, 407? 407, they're figuring out how to how to get around it now. But how to make an HD system. No, yeah. no but can, can can that picture, can it see the the plate with the blue plate on 407? Even our cameras can't even capture it. Like, even when I'm taking a picture of, like, uh, a vehicle yeah. with blue plates, yeah, can't, it doesn't capture it at all. So my the next question... Actually, yeah. Where do I get a blue plate from? Like, do you go to the Ontario? They won't sell them. Where do you, you get the they blue plate? Black market. Oh. Uh, Toronto Black fuck, Market. Dude. There's no more Toronto blue, what? There's no more blue plates. <laughs> there's no more blue plates in the Malacca? No, well, I mean, you could go... You could... Malacca. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Malacca? I know, it's a Chewbacca. Blue... Is there blue hmm. plates? No. All right. There is. Well, we. It'd be nice if we had a blue plate. That would be phenomenal. I think they should. They should bring them back. (laughs) Yeah. For for bring them back back to the public. (laughs) Well, I mean, you know what? I guarantee you, there's a bunch of them out there. There's got to be people with them, and they're probably selling them as well on probably you know Facebook or something like that, or uh, what do you call that, uh, Kijiji or or uh, yeah. Craig's? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure we have them. People are buying. Are there cops? Are there cops on the 407 or no? Oh, no, no, they get they got to call them on to the four oh four oh seven two. To no, uh, there's someone monitoring. Yeah, they have people monitoring. Yes, that's true. But police officers, no. I don't know. There's got to be. It, it would cost them. More there's got to be some way to hide your plate. Well, I know. There's got to be somewhere to some way to hide your plate. No. Well, look! Look at these uh, these guys with the. Uh, hide your plate, no? Or... Like I know the trucks. They like put their gate the covers, down. The covers. Whatever. There's a button, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those guys. They just put their thing down. There's a Porsche, yeah. No, but for a car, there's gotta be a there's gotta be a way. It's like your phone. <laughs> yeah, before you go. Put a put the a garbage bag around. Now with all this going on, is it gonna be worse than that? Yeah. 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 Why you got a lot? What the, the fuck is going on there? Kyle Darwin, can we? Can you? Darwin, what's going on, on dude? No, no, I was going to play minutes. the quote for you. Oh, okay, nice. What, what's the quote? Hmm. All right, let's shoot. All right, yo, yo, yo. This yo. is episode 20, what is it? 24 of the Monster Closet? 25. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, we could technically say it's 25. Yeah. So episode 25 of the Monster Closet, uh, Tuesday, January 20 or 30th. 30th. Yeah. 2024. A- Darwin, nice. Nice to have you on. Thanks for uh, sharing some of your stories. And, Thanks for your uh, Yeah. So I'm just going to try to edit that. It's edit this podcast and then uh, put it out as soon as we can. OK, thanks, guys. Have a good night. Cheers, buddy. Peace.
a quote from Rocky. Come on, okay. Oh, my last name? That's the reason I got a decent job. That's the reason why people deal with me in the first place. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself. And this happens. Now I'm asking you as a favor not to go through with this, okay? This is only going to end up bad for you. And it's going to end up bad for me. You think I'm hurting you? Yeah, in a way you are. It's the last thing I ever wanted to do. I know that's not what you want to do, but that's just the way that it is. Don't you care what people think? Doesn't it bother you that, that people are making you out to be a joke and that I'm going to be included in that? Do you think that's right? Do you? Frail Fragments Monster Classics.